Good morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. So as promised, we're going to do a colour with me with using the Black Edition Faber-Castells that Kevin kindly sent me. I'll put a link up here to the swatch and my initial thoughts of them if you're interested. Um, because we're going to do a series of budget pencil colouring. Um, <clears throat> Uh, a few people in the comments, well quite a lot of people in the comments have said that pencils that must not be named, I'm not allowed to, to mention the name while I'm using these because it drives Kevin mad. <laughs> so quick flyby, we're not mentioning these pencils in this video. And the reason for that is in the UK they are incredibly expensive and you can get them um, individually but I think it's £250 currently for 150 sat and trying to source them individually is difficult and people are, from what I'm hearing, people are sick to death of them being the only pencils that are being used. So, we have got a plethora of budget pencils to hand that are really good. So I've just done the Amazon Basics 72 set and we can only pray that Amazon listen and give us more colours because that set, at the moment, are 13 pound they were 12 pound when i got them 13 pound so if you need to replace colors that can be that's cheaper than buying i don't know six prisma colors i don't think you'd even get six prisma colors for that so um yeah so they're winning at the moment now these pencils we've swatched i love them they're absolutely adored, adorable they're creamy um and um we're going to do the blend test and play so my lovely friend Julie has been asking me to do a page in RJ Hampson's Frogtail and she sent me this colouring book. So I thought that's what we'd do. He's got a new book out, did you know, Moonlight Mischief. Oh my gosh, it looks incredible. So instead of just having the two sets of colouring pages like you get in this one, the second half of it has got black backgrounds. So I thought we'd start with rest and recreation since i've just come back from my little trip down to my caravan so i've got my beautiful pencils in this rubbish pencil case it looks gorgeous but i hate them how they lay out like this I just oh and i've numbered mine one to 100 according to my swatch chart but i will be putting on the screen the actual numbers of the pencils so don't worry about that um, and if you'd have watched my review, they do not have names, so it'll just be numbers that we're using. So I'm going to add lib. We're going to come in so you can see the image. There we go. And we, I'm just going to go with the flow. So I'm going to look according to my colour chart. And I definitely want to get this number 793 out. So 793, which is a beautiful pale blue. And then I'm thinking, let's see, we're going to want something a bit darker, aren't we, for, for possibly around the edges. So let's do, let's do 28. That looks like a good watery colour. And then because we've got the sky, and it's obviously quite a nice day because he's out fishing and he's sat with no coat or anything on, we need to think about the sky. So... I don't want to be too blue, so let's add some green. What do you reckon, folks? Let's add some green. What about... What about 67 to go over that? Let's see what that looks like. Let's try that. Okay, so I've chosen the um, colours. I've chosen an Amazon colouring book because I'm going to be really cruel and we're going to put these pencils to the test. So, um, yeah... No, it's not too bad Amazon paper. It's it's quite smooth, so we'll see. So I'm going to take 793, which you'll have on the screen, so I don't have to worry about keep trying to show you. And we're going to go in with a light coat of this. Oh my gosh, people. Oh my gosh, can you see this? I'm barely touching it. I'm holding the pencil quite far back. Let's come in a little bit closer. And they are responding incredibly. Right, so yeah, don't get too excited, Lucy. We're just, 
laying down a bit of colour to start with. We need to do the blend and smush test. Do they have smushability? Do we have enough colours to recreate the image that we want properly? We'll see. So let's just cover up this. I'm going to cover the entire water with a light coat of this. What colour did I say? 24793. And I need to stop doing that because I don't need to worry anymore because I can put them on the screen. So just a light coat of our lightest colour. Let's get that down. Now my videos are quite long so I don't know whether to split it into two or not. I know you all say that you like the long videos but from my statistics people don't watch them all the way through and that sort of is damaging to your channel the way um, YouTube analytics work. It's like well people aren't watching your videos all the way through and they kind of see that as a bad thing YouTube so I don't know if it would be better to split them. There's something on the page there. <clears throat> okay, very, very, very impressed. They are beautiful. Now I've done a bit of searching and I can't find if you can... I can't see anywhere if you could buy them individually. So that's a downside because, like I say, they are beautiful but they're £46 a set. And can we all afford a £46 a set every time you need replacement pencils? So if you, I will continue to do some research and see if I can find them. But if you do know of anywhere that sells them individually, please let me know. Because I think they're beautiful. Okay, we've got a light coat of that. Let's go in with a darker blue. And I'm just going to do it lightly. I'm going to try and keep the whole water in the scene. So I'm going to come in around the edges and kind of leave the centre biggest part of the water. I'm not pressing hard at all. I'm just doing a really light coat because I want to put that beautiful green over the top. And we'll see about blending and layering and colour change, do they respond? Now, if they don't, <laughs> and we have to do a different way of colouring with them, RJ always gives you a, a second page, so we have nothing to fret about. So I'm just going to bring this out for a bit of interest. They feel nice to hold. And although I'm doing it very lightly, they seem to be laying it, layering over one another quite well. I'm going to come out around here. Made a bit of a mess there, haven't I? I'm going to take that off. Got to get it right, peeps. Got to get it right. Made a bit of a mess. It's because, I'll tell you what it is, it's because I turned the pencil and used the pointer end so you always get more of a layer of pencil if you do that. Always get more lines showing. So let's get rid of that. Not a problem. There's my little brush. <coughs> we'll go back in with our blue. Right. I'm trying to find my flatter edge. Bring that out round the rocks, round his feet. Just bear with me. I know it doesn't look the best at the minute, but just bear with me. Okay, and we're going to do round the edge of the water here. Bring that down. They're responding so well, you have to be really careful, actually, about your pressure. 
because the colour payoff is just so instant and I want it quite pale. Um, but they love this paper. Which is always good for us guys, isn't it? Because we have plenty of Amazon colouring books and people always moan about the paper, so... If we can find a pencil that works, even better. Okay, I think we've got a little bit of blue. Let's go in with this gorgeous green, this aqua colour. But like I say, numbers will be on the screen so I don't have to panic. So I'm going to go over that dark blue and we're going to see whether they blend and change colour because that will be helpful because we have limited greens so we might need to use the opposing colour which is red to deepen it up look at that that's not having a problem at all is it oh, do you know what these would be really nice. I want to see what these would be and the Amazon now we've done cheap paper what they'd be like on um, like Joanna Basford's Ooh, we could do a Rooms of Wonder page. Oh, that would be good fun. Because the um, Joanna Basford book, I've been using my Artex pencils in there and love them. They work so well in that book. So it would be nice to see, because that's very smooth, good quality paper, isn't it? Um, so it would be nice to see if they perform just as well in that. Well, they're layering on top of each other beautifully and it's they're blending and it's changed that tone we're picking up the green very nice and i'm not just saying that because they're a gift folks i will try to be objective in videos and if there is a problem i will try and tell you the only problem I can foresee is, like I say, the, the the limited, the greens are beautiful that they provide, but quite limited in terms of there's no sort of dark greens, so we're going to have to blend and make our own, which is good fun actually, and it teaches you um, colour discipline, what do you call it, colour theory, so if you have your colour wheel that will help. I'm taking my time just aren't I getting this water done but I think that oh I think there's a little scuff or something on the page there not the pencil's fault the paper's fault okay and let's go back to our very pale blue and we'll just bring that back out. Otherwise it will look more like a swamp <laughs> than a fishing lake. Okay. Go back in with our dark blue and just just introduce that dark blue in some of those back into some of those edges. Let's take away that swamp feel. Oh, isn't that pretty? What a lovely combination. light blue just for a bit of the blend and do they have smushability yes they do yes they do now you have to remember that this is Amazon paper so um, because it's so thin it does have a little bit of tooth but it will only take so many layers so Although we've managed to get quite a few in there, haven't we? Let's get, <clears throat> I got an idea, let's get a white. Let's get the white and just 
run a little bit of white in there. What happens? Does it respond? Okay, well it's not the pencils that must not be used, but it's working. Sorry, the pencils that must not be named. But it's working, look. Not bad, folks, not bad. All right, I can faff with that off camera. So we've got one, hopefully, beautiful looking lake. Now, obviously, the biggest part of our picture is our little froggy. So we need colours for the frog. Ooh, okay, let's have a look. So, let's come out. Frog colours, let's see. What have we got? Well, obviously we need green, so let's start with the greens. Um, ooh, that's a nice frog colour. 65, let's pull that one out, which is 709. Sorry, I'm going to confuse you with my numbers. 709. That's a nice frog colour. Then if we up that, let's go up to a bit brighter to 766. Yeah, I think they'll go well together. Um, brighter still. 60? No, sorry, that's my number. 744. They will be on the screen, so just ignore me. You know what I'm like with the number confusion. 744, so we get lighter still. And then... Let's go, let's move right up here. Yeah, let's do it, why not? Let's do... Uh, 54, uh, sorry, 710. Um, okay, 710. Is that it? Do you think? Do you think that'll be enough? Let's try. Let's try. We've got four pencils. Let's see how they work. So let's come in and do his face. So I think we'll start with the lightest. 710. Like I say, they'll be on the screen. Let's give him a quick. Oh, isn't that a beautiful colour? Let's give him a quick coat of this beautiful lime green. So we can use this then as our highlight colour. Oh, isn't that a pretty colour? Let's put some up his little arms. I'm very impressed with their response on this paper, folks. Let's do some on his little legs. I know some people said they've been looking to get them but couldn't find them on Amazon US in particular, which I'm quite surprised about. Um, but I know that eBay has them. So if you are in America, have a look on eBay because there's a lot of legitimate sellers on there that sell um, pencils at really good prices and it's worth just having a quick look if you are looking for the set. <clears throat> okay, yeah, I like that colour. Okay, right, let's work our way up. So, let's do six, seven, four, four. We're going to start building him up a little bit. So let's, because this is our second lightest colour, let's come up to under his lip and bring it out. up to where we want to blend into that beautiful lime green. We know we're going to have darker under his little eyeball, so let's bring that down. Okay. That looks cool already. Okay, so let's do his little arms. 
So we know we're going to put darker in. So let's bring that up. Leaving a space for our highlight colour. Not much to play with on this little arm. Backs of his legs. We're not going to get much of a blend in those little skinny legs, are we? Those little hoppers. Okay, so that was 744. Let's move up the range now to 766. And we'll bring that up, but not as far up. So we leave, leave those limes showing. They're blending nicely, folks, aren't they? Come round his eyeball. Can you see what I'm doing? Yeah, I'm not in your way. Hee <laughs> hee, look at him, he's so cute. Let's come down there a bit more. Round his nostrils. Okay, and then we've got a very dark one, which is 709. So let's put that tiny bit in the darkest areas. Let's make that googly eye even more googly. That's a really nice frog colour. And then we'll go back over and smooth everything over. On the pack there. Let's make those um, let's make those dark green. It is little. There we go. We'll put a little bit of the dark in there. And all these little frog spots. I'm not saying warts. Our frog, Mr. Froggerty, is far too good looking to have warts. It's a madness, folks. Just ignore me. That's what happens of nearly a week off school. It just turns me into some crazy lady that makes stories up in our head about our colouring pages. Okay, let's work backwards now. So we'll go back to 710, which is our light one, and let's pull that through. I'm very impressed. Look at that, how they're blending. I mean, the paper's rubbish, obviously, but... wondering if I can get a little bit more dark in. I don't want him to be too dark. I like the sort of brightness of him. But let's layer in let's layer up this dark colour and see if it'll play ball a bit more. There we are. <laughs> I like him, he's so cute. We'll go back through our colours now. So I've got the next colour down. I know what he's missing. I know what he's missing. I know what I need to do. I'll just keep going through these for a minute. Okay. Just back through our colours. Let's force that blend. A little bit more. Okay. Oh, I really like that. And then we'll come back in with our lime. Yeah, that's so cute. Look at that. Mr. Froggerty. Oh, I know what we need. Now, I think we need a pink. And I'm just going to put some in there for his rosy cheeks. So, what colours have we got? Let's go in with 22. I keep using my numbers, I'm so sorry. 704. Let's try 704. Which is this one. And let's... Now, this could just turn it darker green, but let's see if we can just give him a little bit of... a puffed up... a flushed cheek look. He, that's cute. Yeah, that's cute. Just all it needed, just that little bit. <laughs> it's 
it's so lovely. Okay, I think we've accomplished Mr. Frogerty, and I could go in darker, but I quite like him being this lovely bright sort of lime colours. I like that, and it will look nice against the rest of the page. Let's move those out of the way. Right, what's the new? Oh, sorry, my stupid chair. Right, the next thing we've got. Now we've got, because we've got limited greens in terms of darks, we've got these trees in the background, we've got these leaves, and the grass that he's sitting on. So, <coughs> um, what should we do first? Should we do, let's do the leaves because I'd rather, because they're in the forefront, we can do some blending and messing with those, can't we, at a later date. It would help if you could see what I was doing. These leaves I'm talking about. So, let's have a look. Right, let's pick some nice greens. Mm, okay. Let's do, let's do, I like I like the 65. Is that the one we've had out? Um, or the 709, sorry. I'm doing it again. Yes, we have. So let's start with that one. That was our dark Mr. Frogerty colour, which is I'm going to come out a minute because I'm losing you in the process. Out, Lucy, out. Um, 65, that was our dark colour on Mr. Frogerty. So let's start with that as our base for the leaves. And then if we go... What about we go olivey? So let's go up to 62, which is 760. Don't worry about my number rambling. Like I say, they will be on the screen. And then the next one up, 71. And then, what about add some yellow? Let's add some yellow to the leaves. Let's go 75. 75, let's try that and see then if we need to add any more. Okay, let's get a good shot of a leaf. So, the numbers will be on the screen, so I don't need to panic about showing you. It's so relaxing doing it like this, this way. Let's do this one over by Mr. Frogerty. So, I'm taking the 725R uh, medium yellow colour that we've got in the set, not the in-your-face bright one, and we're going to do around the edges. Okay, let's blend in... Um, just trying to see which was the lightest one. Um, I think we need something else in between there. Because I'm just looking at that being our lightest one. I think we need something else. Mm. So what have we got? 65 that one then we've got let me jump to that one let me jump to that one we need something in between the yellow and that so I think we jump to this one 710 let's do that I hope these work have we got one was that another froggy color yeah so 710 okay let's try that I needed a, we need something to blend between those olives and that so we're going to put 710 over that yellow and bring that round. Nice. Okay, right. There's our transition colour. Then we're going to go in with 721. We're going to put that olive colour in. Now this will be a real test for layering, won't it? Because I've now got one, two, three, four, five pencils. So we'll see. 
Okay, let's go darker. So, 760. Can you see? Are you too far away? Let me bring you in a, a smidge. Come in a smidge. Okay. Nice. Go, let's go in with our... This is our more bluey green. So let's see what happens over the top of that olive. Okay. I think it still needs something else. Let me go back in with that lime. Need something else, folks. Yeah, what else can I put on there? Let's see. I bet you're all screaming at you at me, aren't you, with the colour? Let's see. Um, what about a bit of golden colour? What about a bit of around the edge to go with that yellow? What about this one? Let's try that one. Let me find it. Seven two two. Okay, let's try it. Oh, fingers crossed, but it just needs something. Okay, so let's do the tip there. Oh, I like that, that's better. Yeah, I like that. Okay, that's good. There we go. That, I like that. Okay, let's go back in with our yellow. That's better. Just got a little bit of oomph about it rather than just being so flat. Yeah, I like that. I'm happy with that, folks. We finally made it. <laughs> I told you half term sent me bonkers. It does make you happy, though, doesn't it, when you're, when you're pleased with something you're doing. Ooh. And then I'll dart down the centre. Oh, yeah. Go back in with our brown. Or our gold, should I say. It's a very golden colour. That's lovely. Works really well with those greens. Let's just go over it all. Yeah. I'm pleased with that. Right, which was our darkest colour again? This one, I think. 709. And then, I think it's that one. 760. There we go. How many pencils do we use for this? There we are. We used one, two, three, four, five, six pencils. So yes, they do blend and they smush and they layer. And then we'll just go back and add a little bit of that. Let's brighten that up with that yellow. Woohoo! <laughs> I like that, isn't that cool? And even though we've used two of Mr. Frogerty's colours, it looks very different, doesn't it? Okay, now we have to do these conifer trees before we can go any further. So we've got those leaves. I want them to be significantly different to Mr. Frogerty and that leaf. So what can we use? Here's our greens. Now, I'm not so fussed about realism. I mean, Mr. Frog Frogerty is fishing after all, so I'm not fussed about realism. I don't mind if they're not true colour, but I would like to see if we can make a deep green. So, and that would be adding other colours. So let's see, okay, let's stop faffing and fussing. I'm just gonna go through the list, whether we've used them or not, I'm gonna pick them out and see what we think. So, let's start with a really bright one for the tips, the tops of the conifer. And we haven't used this one yet. This is 52. Back to the greens. Okay. It's not 52, so, folks, I do apologise. It's 743. We have used it already. Which is... Um, I've got to try and find it now. Have we used it already? Oh my gosh. Right. 
52. We said 743. There it is. Okay, so this very sort of yellowy green. We're going to do that for the tips. Then we've got. I need some dark. So let's use the 760, that darker olivey green. So that's the top. This is the bottom. Mm, actually, hang on a minute. Let's put that back a minute. Sorry, folks. 52, which was 743. Then let's do... Let's come down. Let's have this nice bright one. Fifth, seven, seven, eight, which is 57. Let's try that one. That's better. I'll come down the list instead. Um... Okay, we'll go blue green because that yellow will change that maybe. Seven seven six, which is that one. Ooh, that looks very blue. Okay, we'll go with the flow. Um, let's try this one then. Seven four two. That's a dark colour, so that won't tone that. Tone that, and then. Let's go even darker down the scale. I know they're blues, but let's try that one, which is 741. Let's see how that works. Okay, so let's put a little bit of our 734 on one of these. Let's come in a bit. Let's do, we'll do this conifer. And we'll do this one. So we've got a nice base of our <coughs> lightest colour. Then we're going to go in with 778. And we'll start building that colour up. I know it's very bright at the minute. But if I get these greens down, we might be able to change the colour by adding the opposite colour, if you get what I mean. Or a deeper grey or something like that because I don't really want even though it's a fun page I don't really want fluorescent conifers 64 which is 776 what do you think to how they're working folks bearing in mind this is Amazon paper what do you think Going back to that middle colour. I think that they're doing incredibly well. Right, now this one's very blue. <coughs> <coughs> so let's try it where we want the dark. Oh, that's getting better. So the colours are, the tones are changing with the blends, with blending, so it would make me feel more comfortable to add an opposite colour or um, a grey or a black or something like that. And then we've got 742. Okay. So I'm just going to run back through them because this one I've made too dark. So put my yellow back in it. Cover up that mistake. Okay, let's run back through then. So we've done that second colour on the list that you're looking at. Third one. I want to darken this up, so we're going to need another colour. Right, what am I going to use to darken it up? 
Let's have a look. Now I could go in with red because red is the opposite of green which should help tone, uh, t darken it. I could do that. Or I could um, I could go in with a blue. But what about that smoky blue there? To tone down the yellowy colour. Let's just try. What what the heck? So we're gonna try 774, which is 36 for me. Right, let's just try. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work, but we're, this is all about testing the pencil, isn't it? Let's see. Okay. So we want this darker in here because it's behind. And we know that blue and yellow makes green, so a blue grey should work. And folks, I think it did. Look at that. We could, like I say, you could put red in there. Okay, that's better. But I might save that trick because we might need that trick for later on. As in our reds. And we could put, let's try. Let's try 712, which is black. Let's put a little bit of black in there too. Just in those deep areas. So let's, yeah, just playing about and seeing what we can make. And I think that's worked very well. There we are. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to keep these in order, aren't I? For when I edit the video. Okay, I like that. That's actually made a really nice, pretty green. And we'll do come down the centre of the, those leaves, so... What do you think, folks? Let's come out and have a look. I've been rambling long enough. What do you think? That's made a really pretty green, actually. I quite like that. Okay, I'm going to go off and have a break, give my voice a break, and give your ears a break from me, which my incessant witterings. And I'm going to finish the leaves and the conifers, and then we'll come back and we'll meet up again with the other bits and bobs to do. See you in a sec. Hi, everyone. It's a couple of days later, and as you can hear, I've got a really bad chest. I do apologise. So I've done a little bit of planning so I don't have to sit and chatter too much. Um, and I've got some colours out. We're going to have a look at the trees. I'm really pleased with how the leaves came out. I think it really lifts the image. So I've got... Um, the numbers will be on the screen. Um, 745, 784, 788 and 782. Really beautiful colours. Let's come in and have a look. <coughs> I do apologise. I have got some drink next to me so I can keep sipping a drink. Let's do this side. This is more simpler to show you. So I'm going to take the lightest one, which is 782. I don't know if we're going to use all those colours. I did find when I was doing the leaves that we'd the paper had reached its limit and I haven't finished those so I've just filled those in quickly yeah the paper, paper did reach its limit I'd kind of got what do we have five six colors and um, it kind of just said right I've had enough now and that's not the pencils that's the Amazon paper it just didn't like it so I had to do really light layers little bit of ochre colour in there. Okay. There we go. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Okay, so I'm just gonna cover this bit of tree with our lightest colour. 782 
I haven't had one problem with the pencils colouring on this paper at all. Um, I don't think they're as blendable as the Amazon Basics. Sorry, but just my opinion. It could be the paper. I mean, we used in the other book we did the um, Creative Haven Creative Haven paper, and that's better than this. So I'll have to try them out on some more. A little bit more robust paper, shall we say. So I'm now going in with our very darkest, which is 745. And I'm going to put that where this bark separates. Go in there in the darkest area. I'll bring it out slightly, because we've got another two colours to blend in, if we need them all. Okay. That nice and dark. Carefully round our little daisies. So I've worked out the mushroom colours. Obviously I'm just doing them red. Um, and I've worked out the grass to go round Mr Froggerty. Um, and the sky. I've worked out how I'm going to do the sky, which is really simple but very effective. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm glad I've got it this week, not next week. We fly out for my son's wedding next week. That would be a disaster, wouldn't it? So I'm going to have to stay away from everyone. So I'm using 784 now. I think it's probably all the stress, worrying about have we got everything right and everything ready. Um, I've not had to do an awful lot, if I'm honest, because my son and my to-be beautiful daughter-in-law have done most of it themselves. I'm very proud of them. Okay, and then we're going to go back in with that. We're going to go in with, um, sorry, not back in, 788. And push that in there. And then we're just going to let it fade out so that we can put our lightest colour back over. And that's how I'm going to do the tree bark. There we go. This is our light colour 782. I think that's some beautiful browns there. Let's do another bit together. So taking our 782, just going to put a light coat down. And we'll do this one up here. Mr. Frogerty's picked a beautiful day for fishing look. Talking of that, it's been gorgeous here in the UK. We've had some lovely weather. I'm very lucky. Apart from when I came back from um, our little holiday, our little mini break, um, it was cloudy as anything. Right, is that our darkest? Focus, Lucy, focus. Yes. So 745. And I'm going to make sure that I've got the division of the tree nice and dark. And the edge of the branches. We haven't got much to play with, so... I'm not going to put too much in there. And then 784. Smush a bit of that in there. They are very smushy. And then our 788. Let me just pop a little bit of that in there. Pull that down. And then our pale colour. Okay, we've got this one. We'll do this one together and then I'll go off and finish them. So 745 are dark. So whenever there's a division in the tree, I'm going to put that in. And make that nice and prominent. We can go back in and deepen up the areas we've already done. You could, if you really want that definition, we could put a little tiny bit of black in there which I think would work really well. 
I'll try that in a minute. Okay, then our next colour, 784. Like I say, we haven't got a lot of room, so. And then our next colour, oh, dead leg, he's sitting on it, that's not good. 788. Pair this colour seven eight two. Bring that up. There we go. All right. So that's how I'm going to do the trees. I think that's going to look awesome when it's done. What do you think, folks? So I will go off and get all the trees done. Have a little bit more of a drink and rest my voice, and then we'll come back and do the other bits and bobs. See you in a second. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay folks, I've done the trees and I did add a tiny little bit of black just in the um, divisions between the tree just to sort of really bring that, that out. Not too much, but I think it looks really effective. Before I plan any more, I want to do the grass round Mr. Frog, and we're going to do that in the same colours that we did the conifers in, because I really like how that came out. Okay, so we have a whole list of colours here, if you remember. So, first of all, we've got 743, and we're going to do... Um, is that right? 52... Yes, yes, that's right. Sorry, I'm just getting myself all confused. 743. So I'm going to go in around the edge where I want it brightest. A little bit round here. We'll deepen it up as we go. Just stick a little bit there. Okay. Then we're going in with 778. You couldn't see that. I'm so sorry. Um, seven, seven, eight, and we're just going to build these colours up. So we're going to put that in. I really liked how the conifers came out with those blends. So I'm doing it lightly because we've got a lot of colours to to get that um, those beautiful darks that we had for the conifers up there. I think I might come out just slightly. There we go. I'm going to lose you. Okay, go in here. Okay, and then next we took um, 776, and I'm going to start bringing that out from the darker areas. So at the moment, he's going to blend in with Mr. Frogerty, but he won't. So we're going to start pulling that through where we want all the dark bits. A little bit in around that cup. <clears throat> and then we've got some of those beautiful beiges that are quite unusual that come with this set. We're going to do the mushroom bases with. Okay, I'll have a little bit round here. A little bit round here under the teacup. So anywhere that we want it darker, we'll start pulling that colour out. Okay, then the next colour we went in with was 742, and again, we'll go over that, because it's changing the tone of the colour, so that's why I'm going back over, you think I've lost my marbles, but it's, um, we're building up a new green, if you remember, like we did with the conifers, because we don't have that many darks, we had to make it up, if you remember. So that's what we're doing here. There we go. Then we went in with, we're nearly there, 741. And we're getting darker now. So we need to bring that out less. <coughs> Excuse me. And 
And I think I'm going to do round the conifers. So I think I'm going to make that like a beach. So we're going to have some sand. Use those beautiful neutral colours that we've got in this set. Okay. Then we went in with 766, which is our more greeny olive tone. Blend and smush those through. Okay, and then lastly, I think, I'm pretty certain, that we tried a little bit of the grey, didn't we? Which was um, like a smoky grey, 774, and that, I think, gave us that rich green. Yeah, there it comes. There we go. We'll just stick that in the shadows. And round Mr Frogerty, so we can see that difference around his bag so if you had any concerns about whether they blend I hope this shows you that they do because look at how different that colour is look at that new green that we've made with this isn't that cool and then we're going to go back to let's go back to 776 and just which is one of our lighter colours. And bring that in. Just help us blend. <coughs> oh my goodness. And then our very lightest of colours, which was the 778. And then we had that lovely yellow round the edge, didn't we? Which was um, 743. Like I said, I don't know why I keep repeating all the colours, but I do. It's habit. I think it's handy to hear me say it and have it on the screen too. Just in case you're, I don't know, doing something else and you want to know. There we are. So we've got some nice, rich, deep grass around him. Let's do our mushrooms. So, I have got, should have, where's the black? There it is. I'm just going to give the black a bit of a sharpen. And we're going to do the mushroom tops. Okay, mushroom tops, nice and simple. So, we are going to, let's move over to this mushroom here and we'll come in slightly. Okay, camera stop. Thank you. I always get stuck on my tripod. There we go. Is it going to stay? Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to take the 712, which is our black, and we're going to lightly smush some of that black in. Just lightly. You could use grey as well if you wanted, but... <clears throat> then we're going to go in with 753, which is like a sort of raspberry colour, and go over that black and pull that out. I haven't gone mad, this is just going to give us that deep, that deep tone that I want for the base of our mushrooms. And we're going to blend with that incredibly lovely bright red that the set offers. Okay, so we're going in with a 703. I'll get a bit of Posca to um, redo the white dots. We're going to go over the whole lot with this lovely bright red. It's a really pretty red. But again, um, I think I would have liked some more reds. I said that in my review of them. But because they blend so beautifully, you can actually mix up loads and loads of different colours. I mean, they layer over each other really well. Look at that. So we've got a really nice sort of dark bottom and then the bright richness of the mushroom. So for the base, I've got two colours. I've got 746. And I've got 
um, 782, which we've already used. So I'm just going to give that a bit of a sharpen. Okay. And then, so our darkest one is 746. And we're going to put that where I want the shadow. Beautiful sort of mushroomy colour, this one. Fade that off. And then we're going to go in with our 782, which I think we used as the palest on our tree. Really, really lovely, soft colours. Perfect for a mushroom base. <coughs> Should we do another one quickly? Should we jump to this big one over here? It's nice and easy to get on camera. So I'm taking 712. And again, I'm going to softly put that black in. The less pressure you use, the more layers you'll be able to get down. And we, we are working with Amazon paper here. So we can't expect too much from it. Okay, then let's go with that lovely raspberry, which is 753. We'll dollop that in. I'm going to bring that round. Around there. Make sure that black's covered. There we go. And then we're going to come in with our gorgeous bright red 703. I'm not going to worry about those little dots. I will posterize them within an, inch, within an inch of their lives. So I'm just going to make sure I get that lovely bright red over those darks. Isn't that a nice contrast between that and the, um, the dark green grass we made? There we go. So we've, with three pencils, yeah, three pencils, We've managed to create really quite a nice deep shape there and some shadow. And then we'll just do the mushroom base, which is 746. We'll have the dark bit underneath. And then our 782. And we'll just blend that out softly. Gonna need a little bit more dark there. There we are. All right. Let's, if my camera's going to not misbehave because it's stuck on the tripod, let's come out and get the picture in. Okay, that'll do. So I'm going to go off and do um, that grass over this side, those mushrooms, and yeah, mushrooms, and then I'll be back and we will do the next part of the picture together. See you in a sec. Okay, lovely. It's following day and throat is still just as bad. Chest is still just as bad. But we're going to go with the flow. So I hope you don't mind. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's have a look at these little, um, little worms. So I've got 791 and 790. And we're going to put this beautiful peach colour on each of these little fellows. Bring that down. I'm trying to, I think we've used loads of pencils on this picture. And then we're going to use 790 for the rest of them. Just so they've got a little pink tinge. There we go. This little fella's done a runner. Can hardly blame him, look. He doesn't want to be dunked in the water. Okay, that's our little wormies, I think. Then I want to, let's do his, let's do Mr. Frogerty's hat and waistcoat. So I've chosen three colours. I've got 793. I have got, let me put them in the right order, 707 and 736. They will, of course, be on the screen. <coughs> so I'm going in with 736 first. Let's do his hat. I just twizzle you around a little bit. Do you want to come in slightly? I'm sorry, you missed those worms, didn't you? There we go. So I'm going to come in and coat it with our lightest colour. It's 
It's going to be a very distinguished fellow, is Mr. Frogerty. So I'm going to my son's wedding. We fly out on Saturday and I'm just praying that this is gone, whatever this horrible chesty thing is. It's hot, it's awful. Okay, then we're going to go in with our, um, let's go in with our dark colour next, which is 737. And we're going to put that where we want the, the darks. On the top of his beret there, around his eye. We'll come in a little bit here. And then we're going to go in with 707, which is a beautiful sort of, well, I suppose it looks a bit denim-y, doesn't it? But that's not the look I was going for, but yes, yeah, so I'm just praying that it's, that it's gone. I've got to work leading up to, um, we fly on the Saturday, this Saturday coming, and, um, I'm working all week leading up to it, so I just hope that God is kind and I recover. I've waited two years for this wedding. And I've never been abroad, I've never even been on an aeroplane. So it's very exciting for me. I know, you get to, I'm 49, was 49 in May, um, and I've never been on a plane. I think that's part of having children early. Um, okay, I'm just doing a bit of smushing, folks. Let's just smush that in. Now, the sky is going to be blue. I'm going to use my cloud stencil, which I'll put a link for in the description box. But I just thought the blue would look really cool against these and bring out this sort of aqua colour more in the water. So we're going to do the same with his little waist jacket. So I'm going in with 736, our light colour. I'm going to fill the waistcoat up. So I did prolong doing the video in the hope that my voice would... Um, I don't want to make it worse. I think it's more my uh, chest is bad than... Excuse me, that my voice, if that makes sense. Can you see what I'm doing? I don't want my hand to be in the way. There we go. Okay, so a nice light coat. Then we're going to go in with our darks and we're going to put in where I want, we want our darker areas to be. So I'm going to come in under his arm, sort of obvious areas. Let me see if I can do this a little bit better so I'm not in the way. So, sort of obvious areas of where it would be dark. So, underneath him, we'll bring that up a little bit. Around that little bag. Down the back here. Let's make sure we've got it deep enough. Yeah. So we can only pray, folks. We can only pray. All right, we need a little bit of dark round here. On this side. I'll put his buttons in with a, some kind of gel pen or Posca. Okay, we go in with our mid-tone. We go back over that dark blue. And bring that out a little bit. And we need to leave space for our our bright blue. There we go, right, and in with our bright blue, which is our lightest colour. So 
So having got this far on the picture, I'm really loving them. I think they are amazing pencils on Amazon paper. And what I will do is when I get the chance and I'm well enough, I will try them on some more um, smoother paper, more premium paper and see how they respond. But we are going to do that series of budget pencils colouring. So we've done Amazon pencils. We've now done these. I'm thinking of doing the gold fibre next. They're a really nice set of pencils. And you can buy them open stock. So open stock, I found them for a pound each. So we can't argue with that, can we? Okay. So we've done his hat and his waistcoat. I'm going to put those to one side so I don't get them muddled up. Now... His shirt, I have got, let me just find them, I've got to get the right ones, here we go. I have got um, 772, and I've got um, 750, and I've got... Um, 734, okay, plus, I know I've put plus, what's that colour? I don't know. Oh, I know what it is. I put a little bit of blue in there, that one. Okay, plus the 736, okay. Which you don't need to worry about, it's just me faffing. So I'm going to take the lightest colour, which is... Um, 772, I'm sorry, gosh, let me just get my practice picture, I just want to see how I did this. Okay, so I'm going in with my light colour, which is this beautiful blue-grey, and I'm just going to give him some, I'm ignoring the stripes per se, at the minute, I'm just going to give him a bit of colour, on his trousers and his shirt. Bow tie will do a little differently, so I'm going to leave the, a white outline on his collar. Um, so I'm just filling in everywhere that I want a bit of colour. Well, I'm giving it a good base coat with this light tone. Isn't that a beautiful grey? Be amazing for snow, wouldn't it? Okay. Then we're going to start going in with our darker colours. So I've now got 734 and we're going to put a little bit of bit more shading in. And I just think it will go really nicely with his blue waistcoat. And then our darkest colour, 750. We'll just put some more shading in where we need it. And I can come back finally in with that blue, that blue-grey. There we go. And then we'll come back in with that blue-grey, which is 772. And just do a bit of smoothing over. Like this. My voice is holding up better than I thought it would. And we're going to take the white, which is 713. And we're going to add just... It's, um, it does work, the white, but it's better used more of like a blender. We're going to put a tiny bit of this um, 736 in, which is our blue that we used in the um, waistcoat. Just so we get a bit more of a hint of blue, but just really softly. There we go. We can put a tiny bit of that 
on his shirt too. Shirt there. There we are. Little shirt and outfit. I haven't decided yet on um, his bow tie. I'm thinking red, <coughs> but then it might be whatever colour I decide to do the little flowers around the edge. Right, we're going to have a look at this cliff top. Let me just turn my piece of paper over so I've got it and I haven't written it down because that's just silliness. <laughs> okay, I must write these down. Okay, I'll come back to that because I'd, I'd need to be able to put it up in the description. Okay, let's do his bag then. Oh yeah. Bag, okay. So we've got um, a lot of colours here. I've got to find them all. Um, 73, then I want 97. I think it's probably white, is it? Yeah. Okay. So for his little bag, I'm going to make it look like a little leather bag. And I've got 7, 787, 747, 780, and 713. So we're going to go in with our lightest one, which is these beautiful, unusual tones, which yeah, are just gorgeous colours. And we're going to coat the bag in that. So he's going to have a little leather fishing bag. I need to come around here for this strap too. Although it's got a bit of green on it, but never mind. Can you see? Yes. Okay, so we've got a nice coat of that pale colour down. There we are. Then we're going to go in with our dark one, which is 787. And we're going to start, put that, work that dark in where I want it. And we're going to turn this into a little leather looking satchel. And it wasn't difficult to do this in this set because um, these beige tones that they've given us are just amazing. I mean, we, we, against the brown, it's not lost at all. Completely different tones. Um, beautiful they would be for skin tones as well. Lovely variation of, of browns and earth tones in this set. That was our dark. Let's go in with our medium, which is 747. We'll blend that through. Okay, and then back to our light, which is 780. Yeah, and then we'll pop that in. I might need a little bit of the dark, darker here, just on the base here. <coughs> Excuse me. There we are. So we've got a little leather satchel. Right, what other colours have we got planned? Um, ah, here we go. Now I found the numbers for the um, snail and the cliff. So we have got a little bit of black, 712. We have got um, a little bit of like a blue grey or silver grey, 724. Then we've got um, 762. And 763. Okay, so we're going to take our very palest grey, which is 763, and we're going to coat the cliff. <gasps> Missed a little bit of green grass there. Wedge that in. Can't be having that. There we go. So let's fill up this cliff with some nice soft grey. And then, like I say, the um, that bit I'm going to do like a beach in sand colours, I think. And although we've used an awful lot of colour combinations, it doesn't it doesn't appear like that on the page to me. It doesn't feel like we've gone too far. 
So now I'm taking black 712 and I'm just really lightly going to bring out the, the bits that are behind, meant to be behind on the cliff. Or bring out some sort of definition in there, if that makes sense. RJ's given us some shading, so that's helpful. There we go. I don't want to over overdo the dark. Um, got that bit there. Let's have a little bit in there. Okay. Then we're going in with seven two four. I do think it's a shame that they don't have um, names. I would have liked some names, but it doesn't. You know, it's not a huge issue, is it? You can identify them. Then we're going in with, let me see, um, a 7.62, just lightly. There we go. And then our last one, which is 7.63. I'm just going to smush that. So we've got a little bit of, a little bit of, stone almost okay we're going to do the little worm pot with these colors too so the same colors i'm going in with black and i'm going to make in between and round our little worm is dark we're going to put the black in around the base and i'm doing it lightly that's why it's coming out like sort of gray color there we go and then we're going to go in with a 724 Bring that out. So exactly the same as the cliff. So it just looks like he's got a little can of worms. Then um, 7.62. And then just a tiny bit of the 763 and we'll just blend that through. We can also put some white in there. Okay, let's get the white and let's put a little bit of white in there. So I mean it does tone it down but it's not like the pencils that I'm not allowed to name or Kevin wants this set back. <laughs> so it does lighten it but there we go. Um, cup, I was going to do blue too so I don't know why I put them back. Excuse me, goodness me. Right. Um, so 30, well, let me see. So back in with 737, 736, and 707. Yeah. So we're going with our light one. Just so he matches his, his coat. And then we're not playing about with too many colours on the page. There we go. And we're going with our dark one now. So I'm going to put that in. Sorry, I should have done the blues at the same time. It would have been easier for me to edit. But there we go. I'm quite a chaotic colourer, as you would see. It just sort of as colours pop into my head, that's how they're done. Nothing wrong with that. It's how we all enjoy it, isn't it? Our own way. And of course, if you're watching this back and you are colouring along, you can, um, you'll be able to put it in order. There we go. And then we're going to have a little bit of that beige. Let's take um, 787. And let's give him a cup of tea. So we'll put a little bit of tea in there. Nice, strong cup of tea. There we go. All right, now, snail. Oh, I've done it again. I should have used the same. I'm such a loon. Such a loon. Right, our snail is... Um, where are my snail colours? You don't know. I don't know, folks. What's going on? Oh. I did have them all out. 
Right, let's do his shell. So I think these are the colours for his shell. Um, yes. So 787. Um, no. I'm losing the plot, people. Losing the plot. I do apologise. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Um, right, give me a second and I will back. Let's come out and have a look at the picture. I'm going to go and organise all my colours. It's because I stepped away from my desk hoping that my throat would get better. And then I've written the combinations down, but now I can't find the pencils. So I do apologise. I'll go off and get myself sorted and then I'll be back so that we can carry on. One second. Okay, folks, I think I've finally got my chaotic brain sorted. We're going to go in and do this sand. So I've got one, two, three, four, five colours here. Um, we're going to go, we've got um, seven, four, six. Then we've got um, seven, four, seven, seven, six, seven, seven, eight, five, and seven, six, eight. Let me bring you in. So you can see the sand. We're going to take our playlist, which is 768. Got a little gap there, we're going to fill that in. And we're going to put, as we normally do, our pale colour down first. And we're just going to fill all of this in. Now I could have done it green, but we've got a lot of green on the page. So to me it's like a little island beach out there. Which, if I was Mr. Frogerty, I'd be rowing out to go and have a look at because it just looks peaceful and idyllic. There we go, we've got our lightest colour down. Right, we're going to go in with our dark now, which is 746. And I'm going to come round these conifers. We're going to give them the shade that they need and deserve. There we go, RJ has given us some shadow look. So we can see kind of where it falls. I'm just going to sort of accentuate that and bring that down. We are then going to put some around the coastline, just where the water meets the beach. Okay, make sure we've got enough. I'll go in with that dark brown and fill in the little tree trunks. The, one, the darkest one we use for the trees. Okay, now we're going to start to sort of orange it up. We have got um, 747, let's put that in. So we need some beach tone here. I think I might have got a bit of white on this little bit of beach. It's quite hard to cover, there's something there. I might have got some white when I was um, going over the water. We'll come down with that here, around our trees. Bring them out even further. There we go. Okay. And then we've got 785. So we're going to put a little bit of that in. I'm going to leave some sunny spots that haven't been touched. It's a little whiter bit. So we can go back in and use our very first one, 766, to blend. I'll blend that through. And then, just to um, make it a little bit more golden, I've got 767, and we're going to put that around the beach. So if putting all these colours on the page hasn't convinced you that these blend and, and shade and we can make shades and tones with them, then I don't know what, they are really beautiful pencils. There we go. There. We've got a beautiful little... Uh, beach set out in the ocean now. I'm going to put those to one side 
Right, we're going to have a look at Mr. Snail over here. Okay, I might need to bring you in just a tad. I don't want to come in too much because I end up losing you. There we go. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, so for Mr. Snail's body, we've got the black, which is 712. Then we've got 735 and 763. So I'm going to go in with the black very lightly and I'm just going to give him some dark round his shell like that and then leave it at that. Then we're going in with this beautiful sort of ready um, grey which is 735. It's a beautiful colour. Going over that black. I'm going to bring that out. I'm going to do his little antenna. Oh, I forgot his little tail end here. There we go. And then we're going to take 763 and blend that in. What a cute little guy. There we go. We could even put some glossy accents on him and make him slimy. That would be cool, wouldn't it? There we are. Just blend that in there. There we go. Right, now for his shell. <coughs> Excuse me, let me get a drink. I keep turning into Rod Stewart, folks. <laughs> okay. I've got 787. Seven. I've got 745 and 748. We're going to go in with 787 to start with. And I'm going to coat his little shell with this beautiful sort of orangey beige colour, orangey brown. There we go. And what I'm going to do is add a shock of colour in those flowers. And now I'm using um, 745 and we're going to put the depth in with that, which is our brown Ready brown colour. So I'm going to follow his spiral like this and make sure that really shows up. Okay, now we can bring it out a little bit. We're going to bring it up into those lines. And then we've got the one other colour to blend in. So, okay, then we've got. 748 and we're going to put that in. There we go. And then we're going to go back in with our original colour which is 787 and blend and smush. Then we should have a kind of dimensional shell, hopefully. So he's not just so flat. There we are. Can't fiddle. I can't leave. I have to... Okay, we can always go back in. Let me just sharpen this with our darkest colour. We might even be able to put some black in there if necessary and that will lift the lighter colours that we've got. So let's just put that in. And we'll see. Now I think we'll probably be okay. Don't mess. There we are. Okay, little snail. What have we got left now? Ah, uh, yes, our flowers and our background. We've got this little float down here. Now, because it's so teeny tiny, I'm just going to use a red Posca. You could use your pencils, but I'm just going to put stripes in. I just don't trust myself at the moment. There we are. He's just going to have little stripes in there. That's that. Right, flowers. Now... I want to make these bright and beautiful. So I've got purples out because we haven't used those yet, but this should go with all the colours we've used. 
I have got, from darkest to lightest, I've got 754, which is a gorgeous deep purple. 756 and 755. I'm really looking to, to, uh, to forward to using these. So, I'm taking our lightest, which is 755. And I'm coating all the petals. Now this, these are going to be really bright because I'm going to make the centres orange. I know, it's got to be done though. Right, that was our palest, now we're going to go in with our darkest. Which is 754. And at the base I'm putting that dark purple in. Like that. Then I'm going to come in with our medium colour. And pull that through. And then back to our very pale one. What a blend, look at that. Made for each other. <coughs> We're going to do that again. 754, which is our dark at the base. Then 756. And then our pale colour. Look at that. Okay, now for the shock factor. Look at the oranges. I know I'm going in with really bright ones. So 767, 715 and 764. So I'm going in with 767 first, which is the lightest of all our colours. I know. It's got to be done. And then we're going with our darkest, which is 764. And we're going to do the little fella's bow tie with this as well. So that's our dark one at the base of the flower. And then in with our 715, which is our medium colour. I don't think anybody can accuse me of not using enough colours to test these pencils out. There we are. Okay, so that's how the flowers are going to be done. We're going to do his bow tie the same. So we're going to take the 767. Coat his bow tie. And then all that's left is the sky, which I do have a plan for. And I need to cover up the, do the little tree trunks, don't I? Get back in with that really dark one. Just deepen that up a bit. <laughs> oh. There we are. Isn't he cute? Okay, let's come out and have a look. Where did we get to? So, I need to go off and finish all the flowers. <coughs> I did his bit of um, wheat that he's having a munch on, the same as the cup of tea. You could use the sand colours and vary it if you wanted to. So I'm just going to go off and finish all the flowers and then we're going to come back and do the sky. I know I've got the fishing rod, his little buckle and details to do, but we can do that very simply. Okay, see you in a second. Right, so we're so nearly there. Now, I want to do the background before we do any of the other little bits. Now I brought this and showed it in a haul a while ago. It is just a stencil from Amazon. I will link it down below uh, for you. It's absolutely brilliant little thing. So you've got different sections of clouds that you can use. So to do this you could use ink, you could just use your pencil, you could, I don't know, I'm going to use an alcohol marker to go round the outline, bring it out a little bit and then we're going to put pencil over the top. It's so clever. So I want it to be quite dramatic round our little frog. So I'm going to pitch it probably about here. And then I'm taking my Ahuhu marker, which is Frost Blue B996. And I'm going in with that. I have got a bit of plastic behind my, can you see? behind my work there so it doesn't go through and what I'm going to do 
is draw around the edge. Now this is going to look really dramatic and ridiculous to start with, but stick with me. Right up to little Froggy's face, and we're going to pull it up there too. And then what I'm going to do is just take it in little circles and bring it out roughly. Okay, it will look ridiculous to start with, but just trust me. I'm keeping my stencil in place. And it also looks like a shocking blue, but this dries absolutely beautiful. I'm just going to bring that out. And then we're going to use, what I'm going to do is use the pencil colour that I've chosen just to soften this out when it's dry. So like I say, you could use ink if you wanted to. Get your Distress inks out. Let's lift that. Okay, and we're going to get this beautiful cloud outline. So let's do another one. I'm going to stick with this quite dramatic cloud line. And let's go in. I don't want it straight, so let's go in here. So I'm just going to follow it where I can, where there's no image. Just be careful that I don't go over like my trees or leaves or anywhere that we've spent ages colouring. There we go. Around the top of that little tree. Okay, so I'm going to leave my stencil in place and I'm just going to bring it up because I'm um, my hands have a tendency to sort of spasm and I'll end up flicking across the page. So that's why I'm leaving my stencil in, in place, just in case. So I'm just in little circular motions, going to bring this colour up. And we don't have to come up too far because our pencil will fade it all out for us and make it look just beautiful. And if you don't have the hoo-hoo markers, the colour I've chosen is almost a perfect match. So please don't worry. You can do this with entirely with pencil, but it's just quicker this way. And a little bit more fun to get out different supplies. There we go. I think I'm just going to add a touch in there. Okay, let's lift that up. So I'm just doing it for a guide. It's not going to look incredible at the moment, but it will. So let's, I'm just going to have a little arch of a cloud in there. Fill that up. Okay, and then you can sort of decide with your uh, pencil what you're going to do. Now I'm going to do it dark around the edge here but I do think we need more cloud shoved in somewhere up here like this I think. I quite like it wonky so it's not uniform or maybe we'll go straight. Should we go straight? Should we just bring that down? Let's do that there. Fill that up. Do a little bit in there. Fill that little line up there. And then anything you're not happy with, we can just go in with the pencil and cover it up. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Okay. There we go. Right. Now you have to make sure that that is completely dry before you do any pencil over it. So I'm going to put those to one side for a minute. And I want Mr. Froggerty to have... Um, here we go. I want Mr. Froggerty to have orange accents. So I'm going to take the 764 pencil and I'm going to fill in his buttons while I'm waiting for that alcohol pen to dry. And on his little buckle, it should just help to sort of unify the page a bit more with just those few little accents. We can even put the dark colour, 764, sorry, on his little bag buttons there. Okay, now let's go back to these clouds. Yeah, let's try. So I've got 798 pencil and I'm going to accentuate that line down there. Can you see how close match that is? 
I'm going to really accentuate that cloud and then lightly in little circles I'm going over my alcohol marker and then I'm going to softly softly raise it out and we should be left she says with a beautiful soft cloud background but one that is so easy that if you're if you're not happy or confident using inks or you know you're just learning all these things just gives you a nice soft look and the lighter you go we can bring that right out and, and fluff that out into the sky there we go look at that and you would never even know that there was alcohol marker underneath it it looks really bright on camera it's not it's a really lovely soft blue and then just keep going and bringing it out until it fades into nothingness. My opinion is that it looks better if you leave the, the more defined base and then just softly fill out the rest. And you could put other colours in. We, you know, you could add a pink in here if you wanted. I'm not going to, but you could. You know, pink or I don't know, what other colours could you use? Soft oranges. But yeah, so I'm going to finish that off camera. And what I'm going to do <coughs> is stop coughing, would be good. And in these spaces here, I'm just going straight in with the pencil and just round the edge. I'm going to fill that in with blue sky. Not all the way, not all the way round. So let me show you. So I'm going to fill this in. And then like here, I'll do dark. And then we'll soften it out to the nothingness as we get towards the edge of the circle. Does that make sense? So you could do your alcohol marker, but I'm just showing you that you, if you don't have that marker, you can do this technique with just the stencil. You can even cut one out of a bit of card and do it yourself. You don't need a plastic one. I like it because it's reusable. So I'm just going to do the same. You could even laminate one. Cut it out and laminate it if you could get someone to laminate it for you. Or if you're lucky enough to have a laminator. So I'm just going to fill in some of those gaps with this beautiful blue. And then gently let them fade out. So like here and here just so it pulls that sky together and then just let it go to nothing there we go and then so just the lightest touch to, to sort of let it drift off into the ether Okay, softly, softly here. And then what that will do, hopefully, is... There's another bit of cloud there. What that will do is hopefully unify the page, bring it together. Those clouds won't look so stark. I mean, we can even put some some more finer ones in there if, if you feel that they're just too much. You can soften the edge. You know, it, it's up to you. This is just... I was just showing you what really these pencils can do. So we can go from this dark, beautiful colour into, into nothingness. Because they work so well like that. So, I might just soften that edge a little bit. What do you think? I think that's very cool. So I'm going to go off and finish the clouds, finish playing, and I'll be back 
shortly and we'll do the very last finishing touches together. See you in a sec. Okay, there it is. I used a combination of, I used a Derwent blender. So I tried that on the pencils to see how they would work and it responded beautifully to it. And I did just soften the edges with the white. Uh, because I did think that maybe that, that I'd gone over, uh, maybe a little bit overboard with the, with the starkness of lines. So it worked really well, really pleased with how it came out. Right, I want to do um, his fishing rod and I am just going to, plain and simple, I am taking my black jelly roll because I want it, I don't want it to get lost, I want that to remain part of the scene. So I'm just going to colour in his fishing rod. This is a nice and fine one. So this is a 06. So just going to accentuate that black line. Uh, and just leave some of it white. A little bit of shine on his fishing rod. Okay, there we go. And then I have got, oh yes. Not diamond, I've got icicle stickles here. Um, and we are going to put them on my snail's body. Because this has got, um, I usually use diamond, but that's got a goldy colour in it. So this is more, this is as close to glossy accents as I could get without using glossy accents. But, um, I chose not to use glossy accents because the one I've got blob blobs everywhere and you could use a paintbrush but I'm just putting a little bit of that on him and then he will look slimy. There we go. Okay, I am not going to mess about too much with my page um, because I know the video is going to be plenty plenty long enough. So I've got a white Posca, I'm not going to do them all. I am just going to do round. Actually, I don't even like that. Let's take it off. I'm not. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave him alone. Because I'm going to spoil it. Okay. One beautiful page. Julie, if you're watching, I hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you so much for the gift. I know you were desperate for me to do a page in Mr. Froggerty, so there you go. Um, my pleasure. I've really enjoyed it. Kevin, the pencils are superb. And let's not forget why we were here. And that's to test out our, we're doing a series of budget pencils and our Faber-Castell Black Edition 100 set that Kevin sent. Absolutely divine. Now, I'm not allowed to mention the P word of those pencils that keep coming across the screen, as I've said. <laughs> but no, they are not as soft as those. They are very soft, they blend. Um, they're softer than Black Widows. I know that was a question that I was asked. They are softer than Black Widows. Um, but to work as they've done on Amazon paper with as many layers as I put on for like the leaves and things, they're just a superb pencil. So thank you. Thank you, Kevin, so much. And thank you for joining me and watching. I'm really thrilled with how the picture came out. I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let my voice heal and hopefully... I'll be able to get another video out to you before I go out for the week to my son's wedding. It's all very exciting. All right, my lovely friends, thank you for joining me. And until we meet again in the very near future, take really good care of yourselves. Night, night. <laughs>